The JLTV program is the Joint Light Tactical Vehicle Program. It's actually a U.S. government program for the U.S. Army and Marine Corps. Um, what is essentially the next generation of light tactical vehicles for the user. In some respects, it's a replacement for what was the traditional Humvee program, which has been around for more than a couple decades. Now, Lockheed Martin is one of the competitors that intends to provide a solution for the JLTV program domestically. Now, over the course of history, there's been more than a couple hundred thousand Humvees and they're all variants built, nation, built worldwide in many variants by many companies. Um, the initial Joint Light Tactical Vehicle Program is more than 50,000 vehicles for the U.S. Army and the Marine Corps. So Lockheed Martin is, is, uh, is going to provide this particular vehicle. Now the one behind me you see is a prototype. It is an early version of a developmental vehicle for our program. And the shape is essentially the same for what we'll be offering for JLTV, although we have new and improved items that are specific that are not on this vehicle. In particular, this vehicle is probably four or five years old and it's 2,000 pounds heavier than what will be provided under the JLTV program. We have focused on, on a few key areas. First and foremost is survivability. We have a unique proprietary solution. It actually exceeds the objective level of survivability. So there's different levels and it's measured in many ways. Second, but just as important, is the actual mobility itself. It's how the vehicle maneuvers, uh, it, how it handles different terrains, what the ride is like for the uh, occupants. Um, and we believe the technologies we put in this provide an actual very superior solution for mobility. And then third is payload. Um, you know, there are different levels of payload that are required as part of the competition and we, we meet or exceed all of those different areas and measures. Actually, uh, we're coming up to the close of what is the Engineering, Manufacturing and Development, or EMD phase. That phase lasts through, will, uh, will complete in November of 2014. At this point, we're just finishing up the reliability and performance testing as measured by the users. We provided 22 vehicles to the U.S. Army and Marine Corps of the latest ver version, and they're going through those two parts of the testing you know, the reliability and the performance. They should complete within the next month or so. The next phase of testing for EMD is, is a limited user test, where we take actual soldiers, not engineers, not testers, but soldiers, and they put it through the complete operational paces. And that will complete EMD. And after that, there's a proposal, a final proposal for the uh, award. You know, this is a core program, and I, and I say it's for the U.S. Army and Marine Corps, but actually, the vehicle that's selected will certainly be a, a foundation for an international effort across many countries. If Lockheed Martin's lucky enough to be selected, we have already put into place and put into motion a plan to both co-produce this vehicle in some locations and in some instances co-manufacture. You know, many countries will you know, want to align with the U.S. government or will want the particular capabilities in this vehicle. And in some cases, they'll want to assemble it or perhaps produce it, or even manufacture parts or pieces of it. So all of that's open. We think it has a very robust future opportunity.